Happy homebrew Thanksgiving Thursday, everybody. It's been a long time since I've put up a video on my channel. So, how's everybody doing? It's great. <laughs> uh, it is Thanksgiving Thursday, and I'm smoking a turkey downstairs right now. I've got my little, to my left, to the right on your screen, I believe, to my left is my little remote transmitter for my smoker. I'm trying to get it up to temperature. The inside of the box is 194, so I, I want to try to get up to 225. Anyways, about, enough about that. This is uh, Gary Fortin's uh, Throat Punch uh, Mango Pineapple Hazy. Uh, does he, is it an IPA? I guess it's an IPA. Yeah, IPA. Uh, double IPA, actually. 8% ABV. IBUs are 43. Um, main brew guy. Tap out brewing. Uh, On the focus. There we go. Well, whatever. Tap out brewing. Throat punch. He's a home brewer in cans. That is a baller play. I'm gonna try to keep this relatively brief and do no edits. So, um, wow, Gary. <laughs> uh, a little bit tiny head, but that's fine. But this thing is got all of the you know the chalky yellow. Uh, you can see it. My gosh, it's popping on camera nicely. Uh, let's see here. I wonder if we can do... <laughs> I am bad at this. But yeah, I mean... There you go. Oh, it's locked on it now. Um, yeah, that is, uh, that is a hazy beer. So, um, looks amazing. Let's get a nose. I mean, of course it's tropical. Do you have any other information on here? Yes, you do. New England IPA made with real mangoes that are bio-transformed bio at high krausen to produce both mango and pineapple aromas and flavors. So deceivingly strong beer goes down like fruit punch. Enjoy responsibly. So I won't lie. I have no reason to. Um, today I was just going to drink Modelo and lime all day. <laughs> all day. And I had forgotten that Gary said he was going to send out uh, beer mail. So I got maybe six home brews from him. And then SJ... Uh, poor, we're, uh, we messaged back and forth, and uh, he said that he's trying out Gary's beer uh, this morning. He told Gary as much, and I said, oh, yeah, I forgot I was going to do that, but I didn't remember that it was 8%. Ah, uh, mango's there, pineapple's there. Um, it's just dominating this. Super sweet smelling. I got to dig in, guys. Cheers. That's kind of cool. The first thing, that little hmm that I did, um, was I picked up on a little twang of real fruit uh, flavors. It wasn't, it wasn't a fruit characteristic created by hops. It wasn't uh, an extract or puree uh, um, uh, flavor of a fruit. That was a twang of someone who used real fruit in a beer. Uh, it's not a sour twang, but you, it's just. There's a flavor distinction uh, when you're using real ingredients, uh, and I know from experience. It goes down super smooth. You wouldn't know this is eight percent at all. Um, it's a, uh, it's light. It's you know it's light bodied, you know heavier end, um, bordering on medium body. At eight percent, that's appropriate, of course. Uh, Carbonation is probably a touch low. Uh, And Gary did, by the way, so everyone knows, Gary did advise before he sent this out that this is a little long in the tooth at this point. And uh, even at 43 IBUs and, and some time passing, it's a little bit more of a sweeter beer. Uh, he did say, did he say on here that it was a sweet beer? Uh, goes down like fruit punch. Well, that, that would be correct. <laughs> this is going down like fruit punch. Yeah, I... Uh, Nose and flavor pick up on both of those uh, pineapple and mango uh, characteristics big time. The hops are subdued at this point. It is pretty sweet. As far as like a mouthfeel goes, um, it, not not so much like you know lighter medium body. I'm not talking about body. I mean I am and I am, I am not talking about body, but um, capturing the New England 
style, you know, hazy mouthfeel. Um, I, I think it's more like a texture thing. <laughs> um, you've definitely captured that. Nothing about this um, tastes um, often what can happen with hazy IPAs and homebrew hazy IPAs. Nothing like uh, of this tastes like stale or cardboard or anything like that. I think Gary's got a pretty good process when it comes to um, um, beer transfers and not exposing uh, at least a delicate style like a New, a New England hazy um, to oxygen. I think he does pressure transfers. And so this is even over time, even though it's long in the tooth and the hop uh, uh, presence is faded, um, time has not been the enemy necessarily with regard to, you know, just kind of old and stale tasting um, beer uh, has not been the enemy to Gary in this beer is what I'm trying to say. He's uh, uh, mastered his craft with regard to, you know, being delicate with um, the New England style and, and, and pressure transfer and uh, lack of exposure to oxygen uh, to the beer. So it's, it's holding up. I think I've gone on long enough, man, and, and ladies, men and ladies. Um, fantastic beer, Gary. Thank you very much. I cannot wait to jump into the other ones. Um, I think there's a, a Saison in there with, like, maybe cucumber and lime, some, or I can't remember what it was. I know there's something lime Saison. Uh, maybe it's jalapeno. I can't remember. Uh, there's a barley wine. Um, uh, oh, there's a Marzen with uh, uh, Rec Brewery. I think it was a collab beer they did together. Um, so he has a, a Oktoberfest, you know, style like Marzen, I think is what it was. Um, can't wait to dive into that. Uh, I brewed my first one this year and I'm going to brew another one in December because I loved it so much using the, uh, brewlosophy fast lagering method. So, um, I'm going to, I might hang on to that one. I'm going to hang on to the barley wine because I'm brewing a barley wine tomorrow and I have about nine bottles of a year and a half old barley wine downstairs in the garage. I may compare that one compared, you know, to his, and then I think Mike Dean is going to send me perhaps some of his most recent barley wine. Uh, so I don't know. I may do a side by side by side of three barley wines and get really uh, uh, get get real trashy. <laughs> Maybe that should be on video. Anyways, guys, cheers, happy Thanksgiving, uh, Gary. Thank you so much for the beer. That is awesome, man. I I I. I I've not, I don't think, had a, a beer that I didn't like from Gary. Um, he puts out really good stuff, and he's got an awesome system. So check out his channel. I'll see if I can. Did I just say check out? Check out? Check out his channel. <laughs> um, I'll try to remember to put a link down below in the description. Cheers, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you.